Yo, what's up guys, Andy from Tap Lab here, back at it with another buying $1 of Bitcoin every day update. Today is day number 1,213 in a row. Just got back last night from Collecticon Dallas. Had an amazing time just waking up trying to get back into the swing of things. So we got $3,041 of Bitcoin in the balance. Current Bitcoin price, $31,597. Up 3.3% today, up 7.6% on the past week. So nice run here uh, this weekend. Down 18% on the past month. So it doesn't look like much when you look at the bigger picture. And down 13% over the past 365 days. Kind of just moving sideways or trickling down when you take a look at this view. But yeah, pretty obvious that we're in a bear market for crypto, stocks, a lot of these various markets. You can even notice it when you go to these events like Collecticon where people are buying and selling collectibles. Very noticeable in Pokemon cards as well. But it is what it is. It's probably pretty typical for when you print that much money, people are hyped. They don't have to work. They can go out and just spend their money that was just given to them or invest it and do whatever they want. And then when you stop giving them that, uh, some harder times set in. Bitcoin owned 0 0.09624434. Let's take a look at the news today. Bitcoin drops 1.5% on US market open amid warning miners capitulate. Bitcoin is Venice. These were capitalists. Wealthy Coinbase clients are still holding Bitcoin since December 2020. So yeah, that's very cool. You can take a look at on-chain data and see um, like the size of the wallets, how long those people are holding in their wallet, if they're moving to a different wallet, if they're moving to exchanges. The on-chain data is fascinating and something to look out for. Bitcoin faces uphill battle despite BTC price gaining 35% from a 23.8K bottom. Top 30 Panama Bank is Bitcoin friendly welcomes crypto services. On-chain data shows Bitcoin long-term holders continuing to soak up supply. That's good to see. So people that are in it for the long run are continuing to dollar cost average, continuing to buy just like we do in this experiment. It may not be the highest value amount in this experiment, but hey, we're continuing to stack. So there's the activity, still did manage to buy over the weekend when I was out of town. Let's go ahead and buy today, tap buy, tap $1, tap next, scan my face, just like that. It's gonna give us our order details and tap confirm. We've added one more dollar of Bitcoin to the balance, tap done. Now we can scroll down here. Uh, the new balance is 0 0.09627505. Slowly working our way to that 0.1 Bitcoin. Let's go ahead and do the math on this. $3,041 divided by one, two, one, three days equals a 2.5 X on my investment. Still very strong, still very happy of that. What that means every dollar that I've put into this experiment on average is now worth $2.50. We'll go ahead and do the gain math as well. $3,042 minus 1,213 days equals $1,829 gained. So very happy with that. Just gonna continue to dollar cost average, continue to buy $1 a day, not stress over it too hard. I believe in Bitcoin. Um, I believe in decentralization, blockchain, transparency, and all of the things that come with this. So we just keep going. Um, let's take a look at a couple other things. I'll just show you some stuff from this weekend. So I got to hold the Pikachu Illustrator card that Heritage is auctioning off. That's up for auction right now. So this one is a PSA 9. Very cool card to hold. Um, didn't really think about it in the moment, but this is like a $500,000 card. So some people after would be like, damn, I can't believe you held that. I would be shaking. I guess I just didn't really think about it. So that was very cool to see in person. Shout out to Shiv who uh, connected all of this, not Shivum. Yeah, Shiv's one of my good friends, content creator, works with Collecticon, was able to get some amazing footage at some of these booths like Heritage and of the Pikachu Illustrator. So watch out for his content. Here's some behind the scenes um, of Shiv getting more content at that booth. So he had a camera guy here, Bobvin, and they were able to capture a lot of cool stuff. So I'm curious to see what they came out with. Yeah, there's us at the club. Um, clubs definitely aren't my scene, but I guess it wasn't really a club, more of a bar. Yeah, there's the Pikachu Illustrator. The uh, Snap contest cards were there as well. They had like five of those. Absolutely insane to see in person. So I love that. I'll be posting some of that on my Instagram as well. You can follow me at 100 Charizards. 
Also got to meet and hang out with a lot of cool people. Here's a photo from uh, yesterday in the lobby. The people that were left, you know, because people are always heading out at various times. Yeah, a lot of cool people from the community. So it was fun. That'll do it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Just getting back into the swing of things for this week. Let us know what you think down in the comments below. Like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.